Hello and welcome to the TCC Library's How Do I video series for faculty. This video is titled How Do I Cite and Attribute OER Textbooks and Course Materials. As faculty, if you are using an OER textbook, you may get questions from students about how to cite that OER textbook. You may also have similar questions about how to cite such a source on your syllabus or attribute those sources in Canvas. Here are some common questions that the library has received from faculty. I'm using an OpenStax book, which is an OER textbook, and a lot of my students are asking me how to cite it. How would they cite this book in APA on a reference page? I'm using OER materials for my course. How do I attribute those in Canvas? To answer these questions, I'll demonstrate two methods for citing and attributing open textbooks. Method 1. Cite the open textbook using APA style with the CC license information at the end. The best way to cite an OER textbook, like OpenStax, is to cite it as a book in APA style, then simply add the CC license at the end of the reference. A student could use this method on their reference page, for example. Likewise, faculty could cite an OER text on their syllabus with this method. Let's take a look at citing an OpenStax textbook in APA 7th edition. If you need an APA guide, refer to the library's website and its citation page for full guidance on both APA 6th and 7th edition. Under Citing Sources and Citation Styles, you'll find APA Style. And on this page, both APA 6th and 7th edition guidance is available. Let's cite an open textbook, just as we normally would cite a text in APA style. The only addition will be the CC license information at the end. Here's our references page. You can see the OpenStax textbook is cited in APA 7th edition. The only addition, again, is the CC license information at the very end of the citation. Where did I find the license information? It should be easily located on the open textbook itself. In this case, it's located on the title page for the open textbook, Introduction to Sociology, at the very end of the page. The same approach to citation applies to other types of sources as well. Just use the regular citation method for that particular source like a journal article, for example, and then add the source's open license at the end, just as we did in the previous example. Method 2. Use the TALL method. TALL stands for Title Author License. Instead of citing a source using a formal citation style like APA, you can use the TALL method to attribute an open textbook on your syllabus or attribute course modules in Canvas. We'll use the Open Attribution Builder in Canvas for this method. Let's take a look at how to do this right now in Canvas. As you can see, I'm already in Canvas and editing a page. I'd like now to create an input and attribution on this page. First, make sure your cursor is where you'd like the attribution to appear on the page. In the Rich Text Editor of Canvas, select the caret and then the OAB, or Open Attribution Builder. Once the builder opens, input the appropriate information about the source you are using. In this case, let's just focus on the title, author, and license information. Select Insert Attribution, and the attribution for the text appears on the page. Save, and you've successfully attributed this open textbook. If this attribution is for your syllabus, simply copy and paste it into your syllabus. For online course modules, if you are reusing your own or someone else's course modules in Canvas, you'll also want to provide an attribution. Use the Open Attribution Builder and the same tall method. First, we'll put the cursor where we'd like the attribution to appear, in this case at the bottom of the page. 
Next, we'll choose the OAB, or Open Attribution Builder, and input the tall information. Insert Attribution, Save, and the attribution successfully appears on the page. Both the tall and citation methods that we've discussed are detailed on the Student OER Guide found on the library's web pages. Under For Faculty, Open Educational Resources, Student OER Guide, How to Cite OER, and there you go. If you have any questions about this process at all, please contact the library for help.